Today, I'm fly fishing the Teton River in Idaho. Oh yeah, that was a good take right there. This remote stretch of river has incredible fishing for cutthroat trout. Calm down in Florida, gator trout. <laughs> if you love dry fly fishing, oh, this yeah. is the place for you. Today, it's all foam dries and the fish are looking up. And it's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Familiar Waters and FWFishing.com. I'm Mike Pulaski. Today, I am fly fishing the Teton River in eastern Idaho. It's a fantastic stretch of water. It is wilderness, but it's accessible pretty easily. One of the stretches, you have to get a drift boat down the cliff. We will be showing you that coming up. The other one uh, is more easily accessible, but it's still incredibly remote, so you don't see any other boats. Today, I'm fishing with my good friend, Mike Dawes. We'll be throwing foam dry flies all day long, and I'll be telling you about a new bug that I'm using and I developed just before this trip. And so I'll tell you about that, so stay tuned for that. I will also tell you about the techniques that we're using and which drift we are on later on in this video. But right now, if you haven't done it already, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and please leave us a comment down below because we would love to hear from you. Don't forget, for all the details, you should go to fwfishing.com where we've got insights on technique, tips, training, tactics, all of that, fwfishing.com. Make sure you hit it. For now, let's take off. We're hitting the canyon stretch of the Teton River in Idaho, and it's fantastic. The cutthroat are looking up. Thanks, thanks for the heads up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Not paying attention. I didn't. I didn't pull it away from it. <laughs> yep. The speckled Teton Cuddy, right? Takes fine spot to a whole new level. They started off not paying attention and a nice eat over on the on the uh, right side as it warms up in here the fishing will actually pick up more of a late morning river uh, the Teton with all these cutthroats I think of the trout maybe the laziest of trout they like the softest water and the easiest places to feed and the foam lines and that kind of thing <laughs> bankers hours yes so very <laughs> typical for for cutties to wake up a little bit late this stretch of the Teton is a little bit different than the upper stretch. It goes from rapids to short runs to long flat stretches back to rapids. And so it makes for an interesting day of fishing in that you fish a couple different types of water. Well, there we are. Oh, that's a good fish. Woo! Yeah, I think he's gonna have to come with us. Yeah. Dead center channel. I'm good, yeah. yeah. Ah! Well, that's one way. You hook the fish up at the top and bring them down to the bottom of the rapid with you. Here he is. Yeah! Oh, nice. That's a good fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, I had. I almost had the double. I didn't see it slow. Oh, it's off. It's it's in the, yeah, it's in the net. He just flossed at this point. Oh, and there he goes. Another classic familiar waters release. <laughs> <laughs> Every show is one or two. 
that's more like it. That's the size we're looking for down here. There's always going to be plenty of dinks, you know, which help add to those numbers for the huge oh, number yeah. days. No, but we'll see some of those. But the big fish definitely help. So not only is this stretch of the Teton through an incredibly beautiful canyon, you can get lost in that, but the fish are looking up, eating dries, and I get to fish it with a good friend and Mike Dawes. Today I'm using what I call my homeboy hopper. I developed it just before this trip. It's about to get stupid. Very good response to this fly. So far, you're two for three. <laughs> They come up and these fish sit on the pillows. The head of these rocks uh, are known as pillows and they sit right on top of them because it's a nice current break and you come up it's just real soft. And this fish was sitting right there and again luckily Mitch was paying attention. That's another good fish. Yeah it is. They call them down in Florida a gator trout. <laughs> the gator cutty. <laughs> They're making it easy in the net today, too. It's like a, it's like a, can't beat it. <laughs> it's hard for that one to make the show. Why, why put that Good line. That? that was a better line than we took. That wasn't bad. Huh? Yeah, four got huddled. And that's the whole adventure fishing the Teton. Rapids everywhere in this incredible canyon. You can see it goes rapid, pool, run, rapid, pool, run, all the way down with uh, hungry cutthroat. Great fishing and incredible scenery. It's the, there's nothing like this canyon that I've seen anywhere. Oh yeah, that was a good take right there. Now that's how it's supposed to happen, right? Put it next to the rock and have a big old head come out and massacre it. Fell right off the rock. Yeah. Sure. Nice fish. Yeah. Rainbow, huh? Did I see a rainbow on him? I think so. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, cut bow, huh? Wow. That, that is that is a uh, down here on this Teton stretch, or you get on the lower stretch here, two stretches mainly up here, the slide section, correct? Yep. What you call it, and you call this. Spring hollow down. Spring hollow down. Yep. And so up above in the slide section, incredible scenery, incredible adventure, putting the boat in. Um, smaller fish generally. You get the bigger fish down here. And that's, that's a nice fish. I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's one of those uh, hybrid, the cutthroat cut bow hybrids that uh, we've been talking about on the show the last couple of times. They get that crossbreeding in here, but it makes for a great fight. Yeah. And a savage <laughs> grab. Yeah. <laughs> This canyon, unlike anywhere else in North America, and I fished you know, all across this country, and there's really no other place like this. It's, I mean, the Green River has one rapid, and it's a nice canyon, but it's just loaded with boats. Mm -hmm. And of all the time I've been, I've been down this 
twice now, I've never seen another boat. The beauty and solitude on the Teton River is something special. Boy, this canyon, as I said, I've never seen another boat on the canyon, and I've had some incredible fishing days since then on Teton as well. The Homeboy Hopper has proven to be worth its weight in gold out here today. Float it right side up. As soon as you put it on the water, it lands in the right position. So you're fishing the second oh. it touches the water. Got it that second time, didn't he? He saw it go running away from him. Huge. Pretty though. So you're saying this that isn't gonna make an episode of Monster Fish? Whoa! Oh. That hook set was straight bass tournament. I mean, <laughs> that that was a quarter ounce jig and 32 feet of water right there. That was impressive. It actually scared me a little. I, I, I got to be honest with you, I got a little scared by it. It was very violent. Definitely a known to be the aggressive type. <laughs> Nice fish, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this bug may have killed and eaten him if it were the real world. It would have been a toss up. You take the left, Mike, I'll take that right side out. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was home. Get the net, man. Oh, that is a fat cutty right there, boy. He's not, he's not one of those snakes. He's been fed. And where was he hanging? Last inside. Oh. That's a big old thick fish. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got him? Yep, got him. Right. See if we can keep one on or in the net for the next 10 <laughs> minutes. Oh, he just blew the double. <laughs> Look at how bright it is. Oh, I'm good. Juggling act. It's a, this is the kind of river that you can have fish after fish. When it starts to turn on, you can literally be on fish, not go without fish for five minutes for hours at a time. Good stuff. It's just, it's just silly with trout. So the beauty is, it's not even noon yet on the river. So we have a ton more fishing coming up. But for now, I'm gonna leave it there. Homeboy Hopper has been fantastic and wait till you see how it performs coming up here in the afternoon section on this river. Don't forget, you should go to fwfishing.com for all the techniques, tips, tactics. I wanna help you become a better fly fisherman. I remember how hard it was for me to get information. And so now that I have had 40 plus years fly fishing the West and all over the world for that matter, I wanna help you with all the tips, techniques, tactics, and training that I have learned over those years. So fwfishing.com. As always, please subscribe, smash that like button, and leave us a comment down below because we would love to hear from you and what you want to hear as well. I appreciate you watching today. That'll do it from the Teton for the morning session. We'll come back with the afternoon session later on. 
Don't forget fwfishing.com. And for now, I will see you on the next piece of Familiar Waters.